question. And of course, a lot of things are happening with the current affairs, uh, quite a lot in terms of news, uh, quite a lot in terms of checks and balances from the opposition, quite a lot with regards uh, to the trip that the seventh uh, president did uh, have in the past few days. And of course, he did land today at about 14, 20 hours at KK International uh, Airport. And of course, uh, we're going to also dive into the sentiment and the statement that's come uh, from the UPND Lusaka Provincial uh, Chairperson, Mr. Obvious Molitita, with regards to uh, the branches that he has said that there will be branches in most uh, parts of the markets. And also, we're going to look at the necessity of the trip right here on on Blunt Talk, uh, the fearless debate. Let's get right into it. I do have three guests this particular evening. Mr. Omiya Hankanga is the Lusaka Provincial Chairperson with regards to mobilization from the UPND. Good evening. Good evening, and good evening to the viewers out there. All right, we also do have uh, Mr. Tenson Manzi, uh, who is coming from NAREP, and he is the Lusaka District Mobilization Chairperson. Good evening. Good evening. All right, my third guest this particular evening is coming from Zambia National Students Union. He is the Secretary General, uh, Mr. Isaiah Mambwe. Good evening. Uh, good evening. Good evening to the people of Zambia, and good evening to all the students. Uh, Aluta Continua. All right. Uh, great to have you gentlemen on Blunt Talk. Uh, and I do know that um, you have come here on this particular program uh, to discuss issues that pertain to national development. But, of course, let me retaliate the rules of this particular discussion. We all have three minutes each to answer the questions that I have for you. Uh, and also, if you have any counter-reaction to your panelists, you will need to answer it within your three minutes and not in your panelists' three minutes. I hope that is very clear. Clear. All right, let's begin off with um, the statement that was given uh, today by the UPND Lusaka uh, chairman. Uh, of course, in, his, in, 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 in the report, per se, um, in a twist of political pronouncements, another party for national government, Lusaka provincial chairman, obvious meditator, says the ruling party will go ahead to create political structures in all markets. This is contrary to what President Hitler must say, that no cadres will be allowed in the markets. I'll start with you, the UPND Lusaka Provincial Chairperson, uh, with regards to mobilization. Yes. Yeah. Why are you trying to bring back the mentality of Kadarism that the many Zambians voted out for from the Patriotic Front? Your three minutes starts now. Out of the 1.8 million people, 2.8 million people that voted for Haka in the Hichnema, our president to be in office, they came from the markets. And the markets are part of a strategy of the United Party for National Development in terms of continuation of party mobilization. I think the chairman for Lusaka province, obvious Malitata, was categoric in the sentence where he says, we shall continue opening up branches. It's a branch. We are not putting up... So if you use the word structure, we already have structures at the national level, at the provincial level, at the district level, at the constituents level, and at the world level. So we are opening up what we call a branch. If let's take, for instance, seat market. We have branches under seat market. And we have told our cadres, this is an ongoing process of party mobilization, not a process of where we want to victimize the marketeers, we want to victimize the, the, the bus drivers, no. But this is an ongoing process of the party in terms of party mobilization. We do, we do realize that in the markets, there are people that go to the markets almost on a daily basis. There are people that are there on a, week, on a weekly basis. There are people that are there on a monthly basis. There are people that are there on a yearly basis. So this is just an ongoing party exercise in terms of purely, purely, party mobilization, well, which is Mr. not Mr. there. Nkanga, previous, the previous regime as well started on the basis of party There are three things, there are three but, things yeah. the party mobilization program is looking at. One, I mentioned the party mobilization, which is ongoing. The second one, it is to help to maintain the role and order 
in the markets and in the station. Mr. Lord, we have Lord, realized, Mr. 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 Sankanda, what is the role of the council? We have we have realized what is the, role the, council, of the council. If you've seen what has been happening in the past, we have cadres, patriotic front cadres that have been wearing the same council uniform that you're talking about. We want to help. We want to work in unison with the police, in unison with the council, working together to ensure that there is sanity. There is no one who pretends to be a council worker putting on a council uniform Mr. and is extorting money from the marketeers. Mr. Nkanga, I, 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 I think that, that that reason is not really holding water. Uh, look, this is the same thing that the patriotic front brought in, and we saw high levels of cadreism. We, we saw would not, high levels of we would not, we would not engage, we would not engage in cadreism as UPND. But oh, we, are like saying, this, we are saying we want mobilization of the party is ongoing. We are not going to victimize yes, any person. So, we are Mr. not Mr. going you to collect cannot, any money from you anyone. Telling the many Zambians watching us that you cannot mobilize without having structures and we, branches. We have structures in the community. We have structures in our communities. But we are saying the markets are part of where we can mobilize in terms of structure, in terms of numbers for the party, in order and to grow. And you need grow. branches in the market? We can help, we can form a branch at the market, yes. It's possible. That's bringing back We are not bringing, bringing back, back what the patriotic front were doing in the previous regime. I'll get back to you, Mr. Nkanga. Two minutes is done. Let's get to you, Mr. Isaiah Mamboy. Uh, the Nasu <coughs> SG, of course, knowing that you are an institution that's very concerned with the many youths, and these same youths are the ones that will be in these branches uh, being proposed, uh, being brought back by the UPND. Let's, let's, let's say that. Your time starts now. What's your reaction to that? Well, um, to start with, this is a very, very serious issue because after a very long time, this is the first time that the people of Zambia feel so safe to walk around these public places. This is at least a point where the people of Zambia feel they have a government in place that listens to them, you see, but that's also uh, dependent upon each and every individual. At least so the, 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 the issue of bringing in party cadres in these public places for us is a no. Okay, it's a no for reasons these same bus stations are places where our students are traveling day in and day out. Mm. And then we have had the experience and we've seen the levels of lawlessness due to this kind of issues. Okay? It starts as mobilization. Yeah. But then these people begin to grow wings and feel they are the authority because even if the marketeers voted in for a particular government, that does not give them the authority to begin to control one or two things in the stations. Why should we have command centers in the stations? What are they commanding? Okay. Hmm. But then, as Zanasu, our take is that since this government has promised employment to the young people, why can't we get these same people we are referring to as cadres? Because they are Zambians, they are youths train them through some sort of workshops and then officially put them on payroll as council workers instead of them being referred to as cadres because deep down we know that the intention is for you know these parties to be able to empower their youths in terms of <coughs> revenue collection and uh, anything they can do to sustain themselves. This is reality. I think we, we, we saw the PF controlling Lumumba bus station, we saw the PF controlling the city, well, and well, they well, made well, huge sums of money which yeah. can be used towards the council, rehabilitation of roads, uh, of course picking of garbage, and so many other things. Yeah. So why do you come in as a NASU to go against such statements coming from the UPN? Well, we'll, 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 we'll come out uh, at every opportunity given, like this one, and, 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 and just call on to the president to, you know, consider sitting down uh, members of his party because the pronouncement that uh, Mr. Obvious made is not coming from the government, okay? Because there are two things here. There's the government and the party. Yeah. So we are calling on to the government well, not to tolerate such kind of... He did mention, that, he did of, mention uh, in his statement that, you know, he would tell the local government minister, meaning he will inform the government. 
Well, I, I personally did listen to yeah. his, 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 uh, this in interview. Mm -hmm. He mentioned that the minister should not tolerate the list yeah. that will be submitted to him in terms of who should occupy the new market because yeah. he feels it, 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 it is comprised of, um, I don't know which yes. political party, yeah. yes. Yeah. But I, I, even that is not you know, a, 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 a wrong perception because we, we, we are living in, in a democratic you know, country where each and every political party should be able to appeal to the government. And that is what Mr. Obvious did. But then this also comes back now, since we have a sitting government, if there is need for the government to revisit the criteria in which the, uh, which was used to right, select who market. occupies those uh, seats, it, the government can do so. All right. Thank you so much. Let me throw it to you, Mr. Uh, Tenson uh, Manzi, the Lusaka District Mobilization Chair uh, for NARA. Your sentiments on this? Um, I think this is a very big disappointment <coughs> because UPND came in a pretext that it will control and bring back the rule of law. Yeah. Okay? That is their message. Already, they are not separating between a party and governance. Right? Now, if we are talking about that statement given by the chair, Lusaka chairperson, <laughs> it's unfortunate. The president says no cadalism. Then the chairperson says he will bring back the cadres. Then who? Who is ruling here? Is it the party or the president? This is where the issues now start coming from. Now, we've said no to capitalism. And if they're not careful, if you're not careful, the fact is... Yeah. Point at him, he's next to you. The, 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 <laughs> the people that have put UPND in power, it's not their members. It's the people who were undecided. So if you begin now to bring those things that they voted out and you bring them in, why should you be in power? Sir, why should you be in power if you bring back capitalism back into market? There's no, then there's no difference. Because we saw how people uh, uh, struggled with capitalism from PF. And then we should be talking about this thing. If I was the president at the same time, I would have called obvious white and say, from now you are demoted, you are no longer just a mere member. Because you are disturbing. You must organize and coordinate the policies from the party and governance. Since you are part in governance, then all what you say should be in, in concurrent with whatever you promise the people. It's a cancer. And this is what we, we, we are trying to see now. And if this is not sorted out, before the systems are created, they should be tamed. If they take it like it's okay, we are ruling, you know power how it is. We are ruling, we we'll do what we want. The moment the, 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 the systems are created, it will be very difficult for UPND to cut this that have started growing. Before the systems are created, sir, now you as a mobilization, please go back and tell that this is not going to happen. Or else you are going to be balanced more more, more than the PF. Because when you are bringing these manifestos, already there are a lot of things that we are, are high expectations from this party. And when this starts coming now, then it's a disappointment. It's a disappointment. Hmm. Really. All right. Now, uh, well, is, is this, is this the, the UPND that many Zambians uh, really were, were looking you know, towards? And, no. Yeah. This is why I'm asking because you know, <laughs> no, I'm, I'm, I'm now wondering um, because there are so many things that um, you know the, the UPND did mention. Yes. And 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 now other uh, other other members of the of the UPND are going against some of, of of what was agreed before. And this is why I'm asking as opposition, what's your role now? This is this is where we're part? coming in now mm. because this is not Quickly starting from. It. Yeah. It's not starting from obvious monitor alone. Mm. Remember, there was an issue where the Minister of Information and the, what do you call, Minister of Information and... And, and, and media. Has, and media. Yes, that is that meant also. We said, no, you can criticize the, gov the government, but you should, have, you should re reserve your criticism. How? And the President said, we are going to allow free press. And you are trying to curtail the freedom. So if you see, <coughs> excuse me, if you see the pronouncement from the President, Going down to his members, which is the government, there's too much gap. All right. Uh, why, why do you 
coming as opposition. This is where now we are here to uh, to give checks and balances to remind the Muaida in the in, mm. in, in government right. and uh, help those <coughs> help those people mm. that uh, cannot speak. All right. Uh, let's get back to Mr. Omiya Ankanga. Um, of, co of course, on the same topic, I did mention um, that, uh, you know, Mr. Obvious Moliteta, uh, of course, has gone against what the president uh, mentioned of no cadarism. And already, uh, truthfully speaking, look at it from, from a lens of, of reality, Mr. Mr. Ankanga. This is bringing back cadarism. You see, the goodness about Zambians is that a fire has got two things, three actually. There's wood, if you're not using wood, there's charcoal. Mm. And there's fire itself, and there's smoke. So many Zambians, instead of noticing the fire, they'll notice the smoke. Mm. So what am I trying to say? When the chairperson for Osaka province, um, Mr. Moniteta, came and was announcing the issue of cadarism, uh, that we are forming branches in the stations and markets. Everywhere. He did mention about the victimization of our members that is still taking place in the markets. He did. And he also called on the Zambia police to jack up and extradite certain issues when it comes to these reports that, 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 <coughs> the PND that are given to the police. Because it's like also the police are not doing their work. So what we are actually saying is, apart from the party mobilization that, which is ongoing, and we can also use the markets for party mobilization and also identification of other activities that the party can do with the marketeers and the government. So we are not bringing, we are not saying that when we are forming this, this ongoing party mobilization, the branches. Don't forget that last week, the minister of local government did mention the fact that we are going to form we are going to form boards. We are going to form what? Boards. That will spearhead together with the local authority in the running of the day-to-day, -day, that is the stations and the markets. He did mention that fact. Mr. Ankanga, I, I, I think realistically speaking, and this is what I was asking, realistically speaking, this is how PF started. With we are saying, I think you've seen... How different... No, no, let me tell you. I think you've seen a difference in terms of attitude. You've seen a difference in terms of mannerism when it comes to the United Party for National Development and the way the PF cadres were behaving. From the time that President Eddie Galungu took office, there's a two different mentality. The first mentality of the United Party for National Development is when our president says, do not do this, you've seen well, the coexistence. Just, just, just recently. Right, I'm so explaining. You've seen the coexistence. Mr. Ankanga, just, just there, right there. The president said there's no cardarism. We are not introducing, we are not introducing cardarism. We are not introducing. There's a difference. That's indirectly, Mr. Ankanga. There's a difference between a cadre and branch formation, which is an ongoing party activity. There's a difference. So I don't now understand how people are marrying the cadarism. Who is a cadre? You should people should understand because you have come from this perception of the ruling of the former ruling party where a cadre was perceived to be a violent person. This is why Zambians today, when the moment you mention to do with a cadre, right. the first thing that comes into your mind is the issue to do with violence. I, I, but I, 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 who I, is I, a cadre? Know, That's a question Mr. that Zambians should ask. I know Mr. Mangi is not... so eager to, no, he's in my time. to you, but I'll ask you to just keep your thoughts. I'll ask you to just keep <coughs> Let's get to Mr. Mambwe. Yes. Uh, quickly, uh, well, we've seen that there's two, two statements here coming from the president. Realist, we, realistically speaking, we cannot run away from that particular aspect. All right, Why are we having a particular political party that has got two different statements. Well, um, it is very clear, and it is important for us to note mm. that we are living in a country where we have become used, like I said, to lawlessness. And if there is a time, more than ever before, Zambians needs to defend its democracy, it is now. Because I will not fear to mention that the current government has so far shown 
will towards promoting certain values that speak towards our democracy as a country. So what we are seeing are elements, unfortunately, which have still carried on the mentality of cardalism. <coughs> and what Mr. Moritata did during the press briefing, in some ways is amountable to treason, because the president made a pronouncement. And like my colleague in the far end said, yeah. the policies of the party of the day should be at least in line with the policies of the government, because they are the government of the day. Yeah. And why on earth would you want to begin to establish structures, or rather uh, branches within markets? What business are you going to do there? Because markets are meant for business. Even bus stations are meant for business. If your cadres are going to get on a bus and go somewhere, there's no problem. Okay? If you want to mobilize, can you fulfill your campaign promises? The people of Zambia are waiting for the new Don government to fulfill a lot of promises that were made. The president was very clear during his campaigns. He listed one of them was the appreciation of the dollar. The other one was the aspect of free education. And that's where we come in as students. This is also another issue we would like to ponder on. Because the, the, the president did promise free education. We need to be able to actualize some of these things. We haven't come to discuss also the merging of ministries. Uh, for me, I'm interested in the Ministry of Education. The, there was a recent issue of the student loans at Mulungushi. Those are some of the issues the people of Zambia are waiting for the president to address, or rather the government, the ministers who are just sworn in to address. <coughs> so it is very disappointing to me as a young person in a university or a college to begin to hear people who have, had, who have given the people of Zambia so much hope to begin to talk about the return of cadres. It's like now a uh, gratuity period for the ruling party. I mean, there's still time. This is just the first year. I understand we can't hide. There will come a time when some of these people who had put in their efforts towards the campaigns and all must be rewarded or empowered somehow. Should they be rewarded and empowered in some way? Because look, the many Zambians are the ones who voted for the government. If the benefits are going to go to people, it should go to everyone and not to specific people. You see, and, and, and this is exactly what is almost being portrayed. Why are we retaining cadres in the station? Like I said, it is very easy to get employment under council. I think the minimum requirement is just a grade right. two of certificate. Right. So why not so much. put these same cadres on yeah. payroll, right. give them official IDs and let them work within the same stations but under the authority of the council. Thank you so much. And speaking about that, uh, well, uh, we must give really uh, much appreciation to the internet and to the civil society organizations. Those are the ones that did, uh, you know, uh, really impact. Uh, uh, not, not really the, the. Anyway, let me not get into the, the side of, 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 of you know, uh, coming to the realization of who should really benefit to the change of government. But. Um, Mr. Manzi, you had a very strong reaction to Mr. Ankanga. Please, you have your three minutes now. Yes. Uh, you see, sometimes, you know, when, you, when you're in opposition, you are passionate to save the people. And it's appalling to find that now you are in the ruling party, then you want to bend your promises. Okay? Secondly, is that these people when the president speaks, when the president speaks, it's a directive. No one should compromise. Hmm. And already when you are seeing these chairmen and doing these things, it's appalling. All right? This happened, in, as you said, in PF. The president, I remember the other time, they even sent the soldiers and police in the, in the, in the markets, hmm. say no cutters. But when the systems were strong, they failed to do that. In the name of mobilization, to be honest, these people uh, go to their homes, into the community. Why should you make a branch in the market? It's a source of uh, disregard of the law. I think as Zambians, we should look at this as a big, big, bigger picture. I think we should begin to formulate laws that will restrict parties that will form government 
going into such because there is a high uh, te uh, temptations to do so because all this what is there going even him as he's the, uh, defending the, 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 the chairperson he knows that this is wrong but in the name of rewarding these people what are they going to do because I'm sure they've got the pressure that we we worked hard for this party and today you don't want us to eat where are we going to eat so they're trying to find a way on how to reward them and this must not be con not be continued because as we've said that the coming of UPND, all of us, okay, all of us, even us in opposition, we said, wow, okay, our brother is, is enrolling, let's have fresh air. But with this, and the videos that you've seen, people are being uh, punished, beaten, uh, cops being cut, all that, and then you are getting back to PF, and you say, okay, is there any difference here? There is no yeah. difference. Yeah, just there on the rewarding issue. Now, is, is it is it really is it really justifiable to reward? It's not, you know, because at the end of the day, the two point eight million, mm -hmm. you know, uh, did vote for the current government. Yeah, and this this, yeah, is, this is what corruption now begins. Just, yeah, because you yes. have to reward someone this because is, they. Yeah. Yes, this is why I'm saying <clears throat> we should begin to formulate laws that will restrict such. Uh, uh, such happenings because we will talk here I can guarantee you we will talk and talk because they are in power they will use the arrogance of power and all that because now as you say that we are ruling so we can do anything hmm. so we need to put a law that in the, we should not have branches in the market these people that trade in the market they go back in the community why can they belong to, 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 the, to, the, to the branch in the community other than in the, in the market. Thank you so it's, much. It's just promoting thuggery. Yeah. Mr. Nkanga, um, you, see. You, 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 you may want to respond uh, to yeah. the sentiment. You see, you see. And also, I just want to add uh, another uh, question sure. that you may have your three minutes uh, together. So we'll start with the aspect of um, our president arriving you know, today. And if you see any significant, uh, you know, significance or imperativeness or per se, uh, you know, vitalness of the president traveling to the United States. Uh, also, because I'm mentioning this, because some sections of political parties have criticized the, the you know, the president traveling to the, to the United States. So you can, you might respond to the previous uh, comments and also yeah. that particular one. Yeah. I'll still go back to my sentence, the one I said earlier on. Yeah. Who is a cadre? That's a question that Zambians must ask themselves. Who is a cadre? The perception, because Zambians, we don't take time to read. We always perceive a cadre to be a person that is violent. But a cadre is a person that can lead. A cadre is a group of people that can organize. A cadre is a group of people that are trained to educate or sell a product to the masses out there. In this case, that product that the cadres of Nadia Part for National Development are selling is the UPND Manifesto Group, not violence. This is what I've said. In the ruling of the United Party for National Development, you will see a different cadre. A person that is able to lead and organize. Okay. That is the cadre. Yeah. So coming it's, to the... Just, yeah, just there. Is that justifiable <laughs> with regards to rewarding the cadres? Well, it's not a matter of rewarding. You see, politics, joining politics is a matter of choice. And if you, you want to join, the way I joined United Party for National Development, I don't expect UPND because... I have supported them and their ideologies for me to be rewarded. But what is it that I want to see? I want to see a better Zambia. All right. so, but then why is the conversation there of rewarding the many uh, cadres? It is the mentality, it is the perception that the Zambians have created. Wow. Because in the past, you are a cadre and you expect to be rewarded. And that was what was happening. And Haka and the HDM, our president, has said, people will be employed on merit. Well, and we've seen that so far you've seen the type of people that have been employed have you seen any cadre have you seen me being a cadre being employed no well, but we are saying in the, in the words of Mr. Moliteta he did mention that the, the benefits will come soon and that is the empowerment and you know stuff like that 
he did mention that you the see, words would be Wallace, but Wallace, uh, Asadi. Wallace, as I said, Johnny. I said, if you are lazy and you are seated at home and you expect just because you are a supporter for United Party for National Men, then a job is going to follow you home. So no. we don't see a situation like the PF where you can only get empowerment if you're politically no. defined? Not with the United Party for National Development. Not with it. Let's because let's you would have actually started seeing that. We already we've yeah. been in, in, in government for a month plus. A month, two weeks. So what does that mean to you? We are saying, we're not a party for national development. We are a party for all Zambians. All right. Regardless let's, of your political let's, affiliation. Let's get that is number one. Yeah, so coming to the trip that our president made. Yeah. You see, a lot of Zambians, they are carrying juicy. We've had the, 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 the vice president of uh, the Patriotic Fund in Eastern Province where he's talking about the issues to do with uh, 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 lesbianism, gayism. Yeah. But at what point did Haka in the H&M? You've seen the bilateral and multilateral uh, uh, talks that he's had. The agenda of Zambia, the Haka in the H&M, is to revive our economy. What significance has the gayism, lesbianism, have to the Zambian economy? It has got zero bearing. So Haka in the H&M's agenda is to first improve our economy so that each and every Zambian's life is bettered. That is what we want. This is the Zambia that we want to see. And okay. it is from this that you will see, from the student side, where you will see the food buzzer thing that we are talking, talking about. It is from this, when the economy improves, that you'll be able to see the free education policies. Right. How do you give free education when you have zero kwacha in your bank accounts? Right. How do you give free buzzers when you have zero? Where would the money come from? The right. money we are saying, can we first improve? And of which we are on track. As a government, we are on track. Exactly, Mr. Ankanga, the time is already out, but uh, it yes. seems you're on track. We are on, that's what I'm saying. We are on track as yeah. a government. And <laughs> the many Zambians, the this is where time. Zambians, we lose it. You're really yeah. eating your time. No, no, just right. a second, I'm done. Yeah. We lose it because I'll, I'll, you I'll, expect... I'll, I'll, I'll give you minutes. 10 seconds. 10 seconds. Zambians expect to plant a seed and start... All right, thank you so much, Mr. Ankanga. Uh, seems to be... Yes, <laughs> your your <laughs> <laughs> this is very really <laughs> Let me get to you, uh, Mr. Manzi Tenson. All right, let's talk about the Give us the time. Of, uh, of, of, of Who the deliver? To, uh, to America by the seventh pre president, Hagai de Hitchlema. And of course, um, the, with regards to the PF vice president, who is in opposition, as as you are, in, uh, now, uh, of course, uh, there is, there is, you know, the allegations of the president going there to talk and negotiate on uh, the LGBTQI uh, community. And uh, of course, one citizen and one UPND member have reported the vice president to the police to give evidence on that. Your reaction to well, both the statement and the report. All right. Uh, let me just see. Uh, let me just a few minutes. If you can give me one minute to, to react. Yes, is it to react? Or just uh, you see, this is this is what I'm saying. Yeah. Give gestation. There is, there is a no, problem. Mr. Kanga, you had your time. Uh, this is what yeah. I'm saying. That there's a problem here. If this problem is not sorted out, they've said that they've been in power one month two weeks already we are seeing a lot of issues and these issues are beginning to come together and already they are saying we cannot give free education because the coffers are empty we don't have money and yet when they were in opposition they said we are going to provide free education and they knew the status of the country mm. they knew that why should you promise didn't why didn't they say when we come in we'll look at how much is there then we'll decide either to go with free education or not but they said, the moment you go into power, we'll give you free, free education. Then today you're backsliding. Well, did, did, and did, did they say that, Mr. Mr. Man? I don't know which they are. Yeah, they are. They've well, said I, we I, cannot provide. He doesn't read. No, listen. They are saying. I, I, I don't think they did. He doesn't they read. read. They say, <laughs> on what? On Can you read, my brother? Free education. Free education. Mm. That they did not. They back. Here he's saying, we cannot provide free education until we have money in our pocket. In the coffers. What does he say? He does not say when we come into power, we'll give you. We already speech. have the power. You right? understand? So there, there is already. If you look at the speech of the president, <laughs> he did not outline any uh, timeline yeah. to say from this to this to this up to free education. He did not do that. What do you make of that? It's going back on what you said. So 
That's about it. This is what I'm saying. The president says no capitalism, and the chairperson says we'll create uh, branches and have our cutters in the market. What's that? So these problems, when you just see to say we are in ruling power, yes, you can use your privilege and all that. But remember, people are watching. All right, quickly. Get so to the in the, in the benefits of the president's trip, look, it's very important that we market our, 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 our country. Very, very important. But we must be very careful as we are marketing our country. At the end of the day, we'll, we'll get back to what happened before. Okay? What we need to do now, the president will appreciate him, he's, he's well connected and all that. Maybe good things will come out from there. But what I wanted most is to, for him to be more vigilant in the organizing uh, the country, uh, the debt issue and all that. I think that is very, very important to do so. Let us fight for ourselves <coughs> rather than getting another date. Anyway, it's got other issues and all that, but I think you cannot sort a problem getting a date Indeed. from this other side. Hmm. Okay. All right, quickly, quickly, let's, let's look at the aspect of uh, <laughs> the, v, the, the V4 patriotic front mm -hmm. uh, with regards to uh, the allegations of uh, the president supporting the LGBTQI community uh, and bringing it back to Zambia. Um, your reaction to uh, both the statement on, and the reporting from one citizen and one UPND member? Uh, that one I won't talk much about it because it's coming from uh, the vice president of the Patriotic Front. I but don't your reaction know. As, as an opposition leader? Uh, as opposition, uh, what, what we can say about that is for Mr. Rivinda, if he's got evidence, yeah. let him go as he's been reported to the police. I think there's a way where you prove to whatever he said, his sources and all that. Yeah. But as for us, for now, we're not going to react to that because he's right. in opposition. Thank you so, so much. we'll not react to that one. Let me throw it to you, uh, Mr. Mamwe. If you have any counter-reaction with the previous uh, you know, uh, discussion that we had, and also your sentiments on the uh, you know, impartiveness of the trip for their seventh uh, president of Zambia, His Excellency, Mr. Haka Indehichna. Well, uh, thank you so much, uh, my brother. To start with, uh, we would like to, as the NASA, would like to welcome His Excellency the President. And I think the nation has, he has uh, I missed him so much, looking at the atmosphere as, just, as he just uh, landed off that uh, Emirates uh, plane this afternoon. However, it was not uh, supposed to be an empty trip, or rather it should not be an empty trip. Of course, we did see him give a very a very powerful speech during the UN General Assembly, which also must be looked at in two ways. Of course, the strength and confidence, but of course, the most important aspect of it is the content of the speech that the president give, gave. Rather, We also saw him hold some uh, bilateral meetings, including one at the White House with the Vice President of America, uh, that is uh, Madame uh, Aris Kamara, and also other people, including the IMF, so the people of Zambia at this point are so anxious in terms of the things that the president really went for because there are a lot of bilateral talks which were held with the president. And so far, uh, we've just had a glimpse of uh, pictures and uh, Facebook updates in terms of where he is and, 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 and on all that. So for me, I would call on to the Minister of Information, probably the spokesman to the president, uh, the, the, uh, that, that is at State House, to be able to give the nation in terms of some of the bilateral talks which can be brought to the public in terms of what the people of Zambia will benefit from those trips because the president did have quite a number of engagement and uh, some of them were publicized uh, talking about you know the IMF uh, you know talking about quite a lot of agencies and institutions that he did yeah. yes I think the one that has come out so much is uh, the one from the IMF where at least we saw some results there and then but then there was also a statement. Well. Hmm. There was also a statement that is on record where the president was uh, uh, first welcomed at, 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 at the White House, and he did mention. Uh, and I, 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 I caught. He said, "Our your values and as Americans, our values as Zambians." Also, that did raise a lot of concern to people of Zambia because there's been a lot of uh, speculations regarding the LGBTQI uh, rights and so on. So. Uh, also, that I think must be clarified because, as a nation, we do have a separate values values from that of the American people. Hmm. Yes. 
All right, thank you so much. I'm going to allow two callers to call us and, of course, uh, add a comment, a question, or a reaction to this particular topic at hand. We're looking at the state of the nation. We did tackle the issue of Qatarism. Uh, rather, we did tackle uh, the issue of the statement coming uh, from uh, Mr. Ovias Mualitata to say there'll be branches in the markets and uh, in the bus stations. Of course, um, people have reacted differently to this, saying that you know it's the same kind of regime that's coming back that was in the regime of the patriotic front. And also, I did talk about the trip that His Excellency had. Hello, good evening. Hello, good evening. This is uh, Chilean Santa calling from within Lusaka. All right, please give us your your comment within um, 45 seconds, please. Okay, this is quite a hot issue, and uh, it makes me really laugh. Um, uh, the current regime has been voted into power uh, largely because of this issue of capitalism. And this, the UPND representative is now raising the question of who is a cutter. I'm like, really? This is what we've been dealing with since independence. In the UNIF government, we had the vigilante. MMD had cutters. And PF also had cutters. Now we are uh, yeah, at this particular point. This move that the UPND is trying to make is just trying to sugarcoat the same thing with a different scale. What we want is development. And if the, U the UPND is going to create party structures in this market, right, it's a transparent way of doing it in such a way that even other political parties like NARI and uh, uh, MMD have their, uh, uh, have their uh, uh, opportunity to so that the development that will be fostered through these structures will be uh, beneficial to all Zambia. All right, so thank you so much. Different, uh, different people voted different. All right. Uh, all right, thank you so much. Uh, because of time, we cannot exceed a minute. Uh, but of course, uh, please call us and uh, of course be able to add your contribution. One more last caller and respond to the comments. I'm sure uh, that was directed to you, Mr. Nkanga, and I hope that you've taken note of that one. Indeed. Uh, yes, one more call, then we get back to uh, the session. Hello, good evening. Uh, hello. Yes, uh, good evening. Yes, yes, how are you doing? I'm fine, how are you? Very good, thanks. Who am I talking to and where are you calling from? I'm calling from Mr. Moya from Google. Okay, all right, please give us your quick comment, question, or contribution. Yes, yes, please go on, please go on. You have 45 minutes, 45 seconds. All right, thank you so much. All right, those uh, calls are enough for now uh, because of time. Uh, we'll start with, uh, I think Mr. Ankanda should be the last uh, with this particular one. Let me start with you, Mr. Mambwe. You, your reaction to the callers and your final remarks. You have two minutes maybe, because of time. Yeah, before I respond, the, the, the second call is not clear. So maybe just... All right, uh, so yeah, you're saying that, uh, you know, the, the past presidents have had enough time uh, to, to, to their office, but they haven't done as much as what uh, the current president has done. So let's give him time, okay. and indeed, uh, yes, let's let's give him ample time to definitely uh, develop uh, the nation. Your quick remarks within uh, two minutes, please. Uh, time is really running. Yeah. Well, thank you so much. Um, the first caller was just retaliating what transpired on the faithful day of 12 August. You see. The UPND, to those who are just watching us, please get me very correctly. The results that came out from that election was not from
from the members of the UPND has a party. That election, I'm telling you, up to now, gives a lot of motivation to the world at large because for the first time since independence, the people of Zambia spoke in unison. There was no way anybody could have rigged those elections because it was clear the people of Zambia wanted change. Mm. Right. And let us not mistake it for anything else. So the first caller is simply reminding us that you are voted into those offices to be servant leaders and not to be bosses or be able to award to, or reward yourselves. All right, so, so just quickly wind up. I'm told we, we have one minute each to answer. Our time is really running. Okay, yes. and then on the second question, this is a country, okay? And the country has got, for example, reserves. It has got revenue that is being collected each and every day. And to implement development in a country, even a, someone in secondary school would understand, it's not everything that will, that will take for a, you know, a particular country's reserves to be full, right. for development to be attained. All right. Some developmental agendas can be achieved through policy changes mm. okay right. and the moment a president is thrown into office the president can make declarations that can make the economy to begin to move all right that's thank what i'm trying to uh, so much, drive to um, yeah thank you so much mr mamboy uh, because of time i have to catch you let me go to mr manzi uh, tenson from Nara. Uh, quickly within a minute uh, give us your reaction to the callers and your final remarks okay uh, i think uh, we always go. I think I also go for the first call. I think the second one is not very clear. I think this they should start. Arrogance should move out from U, uh, UPND. They are no longer in opposition than ruling. So they should not. They should behave as ruling party. These elections that we've had, they, they should not make UPND comfortable. <laughs> I guarantee you, they should not make them comfortable. It's not their members who voted UPND into power. No. So, secondly, I think what I can uh, I can talk about all these things. Me, I'm still coming back to the laws. We should formulate laws that will restrict even parties that will come into power to begin to start getting what they've said and should be policies. Mm. All right. Without without which we will even Narep will come will have that arrogance of power all if right. at all be. But for us, we are law-abiding citizens that want to, look, to check, to make sure that uh, policies, rule of law is followed. All right, thank time. you. Thank you so much, Mr. Manzi. Time is, is up, sorry. Uh, let's, let's get to uh, Mr. Nkanga. Please, within your minute, uh, you can react to the callers and also to the reaction. Are you arrogant, as Mr. Manzi has said? <laughs> I don't know what you mean to say because, you see, I don't know what arrogance is talking about because <laughs> if it's not our fault if Mr. Manzi has got a weakness in terms of reading, it's not my fault. <laughs> Neither is it you know, that Party for National Development is fault. Information is out there. Let's take time as Zambians to read and understand issues. It ends there. Yes, we were voted in by the people and our president has assured the Zambians that he will govern Zambia by the will of what the Zambians want. We don't want to and coming to the issue of our vice president, <laughs> we still reiterate as United Party for National Development that Zambia will remain a Christian nation. <laughs> and right. we shall live on the values of a Christian nation. Your final remarks, Mr. Ankara. So my final remarks is, I'm asking the Zambians out there to still have the confidence that they had on the 12th of August in the United Party for National Development and the President Haka in the Ichilema. He will deliver. All right. Thank you so much. Gentlemen, thank you so much for coming through to Blunt Talk, the fearless debate. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Thank us. All right. My name is Chola Chisha. This has been Blunt Talk. Have a good night. This is
Zambia, it's Zambia, it's the nation. Yeah, yeah. Give us you, give us. This is Zambia, the home of Copa. Are you ready for some great news? I'm Christine Mundua. And I am Eddie Micah Jr. With a brand new DW News Africa. The show that tackles the issues shaping the continent. Now with more time to offer an in-depth look at all the trends that matter to you. What's making the headlines and what's behind them? We're on the streets to give you in-depth reports and insights. DW News Africa. People's Choice on Movie TV. Brought to you with the association of Airtel. Airtel, the smartphone network. Will you love me? Will you love me, boy? Will I forget about what I've been through? Let me love you. Let me love you, girl. Just forget about what you've been through. Joseph Banda Johanna We are having at the moment is a divorce. Wa Chichi Mwape, Wari Kutila Simoni, Wa Joseph Banda Kutila, Ichopo, Shipwe. Wa Joseph Banda, Wa Minita Kutila Shamila Ndu Kuli Wa Chichi Mwape, Kutila, Ichopo, Shipwe. Chichi Mwape Ndi mnadula Simon Mnaduli ya ndani Simon Nanguli wa guna wangu wa Joseph Banda Kwa Joseph Banda Mnadula Simon kwa kazi wangu Inge mafo Ndipo mnawele nga ndiku mvesesa Mlando umu ulipa Simon Umenu wabwede la kuno Inge mafo Chirapiro, Oth. Chicken donchi, mala wonfia, paktila. Ichile chamila ndo? Chumfwe yo wino wino pintu. Mala wonfia. Mala wonfia chumfwe. Mwaka 